and that third type of force, so we have um, tension pulling apart, creating valleys, and compression pushing together, forming mountains. And there's a third, a third type of force. Um, it's called shearing. Shearing. And this is our side by side motion. Side by side. And the shearing diagram would look something like this. One block moves this way, and the other block moves that way. Put some trees in here just to make it look kind of real there. Now these trees are offset, whereas before they used to be together, now they're separated. So you can probably guess that. Um, this forms um, in areas where we have offset features. Offset features. Um, this also, of course, forms mid-ocean trenches. And the compressional forces are found where there are volcanic mountain ranges, such as the um, Cascade Mountain Ranges that we talked about, Mount Lassen, Mount Whitney, Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, okay? And all those different types of forces can be acting in one small er one large area sometimes so we can see all of these different types of geological features here in California um, this of course is the San Andreas fault now the San Andreas fault is one that is very complex. It's actually a combination of sliding and compression. When the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate come together, they're actually crashing together and shearing and compressing at the same time. So it's rotating and compressing. Yeah. Yeah, the question is, are these the types of boundaries that we talked about in chapter four? Yeah, they are. This is the reason why we have those boundaries. So the San Andreas Fault is really a combination of compression plus shearing. Compression 
compression plus shearing. Well, um, there's also different types of faults. Fault types that we're going to be seeing as well. And actually, you're going to be making some pretty cool models of these faults. Um, 